Ladies and gentlemen, it's time. It's time! For me to cook my first brisket ever. Okay, so what I have here is either a brisket flat or a brisket tip. I'm not sure, it's not the whole brisket, I know that. I'm a novice. This is literally my first time cooking a brisket. Some of the research I did said, if you don't know how to trim it, don't trim it. So I didn't really trim it at all. There was some gray skin, blue skin, whatever you call it. I took that off, but I washed it. I dried it, had it in the fridge for a while, drying out on this little rack. Now we're gonna season it, take it out to the smoker. We got this black and tan, which is sort of your salty, peppery. It says it's good for briskets. This will probably give a good color for bark. Let's pat that in and then we're gonna get the side. Before my sides, the sides of the meat, let's hit it with a little smoked honey habanero. Press that in. All right, we season it on all sides as best as we can. Again, we're not pros, don't come after me. Now it's time to take it out to the smoker. On the big green egg, we're gonna do 225, 250 all the way through. So this is about four and a half pounds. You're supposed to do one hour per pound. So I think we're gonna do about two and a half hours as is uncovered. Then we'll come back in, wrap it, finish it off, and then put it in the cooler to really finish off. So maybe about a six and a half hour cook today. Let's go. All right, meat's going on the grill. And as you notice, I'm keeping it on this rack because it just makes it easier to move around. Center it up as best as we can. Two and a half hours. We're not gonna check the temp or hit it with a probe just yet. So two and a half hours in, we're looking really good. Let's pull it, wrap it, bring it back. Wrapped and back on the grill. And as you can see, we got a probe in it. With the probe in, we're sitting at 168. We probably pulled it right around 165, but we wanna to get to 205. So we're going to let it cook, same temp, until we reach 205. Then we're gonna pull it. 205 on the dot. From here, we're just gonna take it, place it in a cooler, let it rest. Part of the tricks I was seeing doing research is wrapping it in an old towel inside your little cooler. We're gonna let that sit for another one to two hours, probably two hours. All right. The brisket has been well rested, still warm, still smells really good. <laughs> Look at that. Nice color on it. Okay. I'm supposed to slice with the grain, but I'm not really sure which way the grains go. Again, I'm a novice. The standard cut is pencil thin number two. So basically a quarter of an inch. Cut it however you like, but that's the way I'm gonna do it. All right, right from the center. Take this piece, looks pretty good. They say if it touches, which as you can see, it does not. So I don't think we did a perfect job, but that's okay. Slice it up into little bites. Let's give it a try. Is it the best brisket I ever had? No, but it's the first brisket I ever made. And it's still pretty fucking good. 